EA Sports. It's in the game. EA Sports. It's in the game. Madden NFL 2004. As the crowd continues to file in, we get set to bring you another exciting game. Well, the first week is in the books. Thanks for being here again today in week two, and we're just about ready to get this game started as the Browns square off against the Ravens. Al Michaels and John Madden here to broadcast this one, brought to you by EA Sports, the company that defines football. Boy, the defense has shown in the past how dominant they can be. They're very aggressive, and it seems like all 11 guys are always around the ball. When you have guys flying around, making hits, causing turnovers, it creates a lot of problems for the offense. The Ravens' ground game should be a big factor in the outcome of this one. Now, we've talked about the defense that they'll face, and in order to keep them guessing, this offense will look to mix it up with screens and counters. This will force the defense to tone down their aggressiveness and not overplay anything. It should make for a very interesting matchup. Well, those guys got to be careful not to get all tired out doing that. You got to save some of that intensity and energy for the game. The teams have taken the field. We're ready for the kickoff. Let's go to the field. Stover will be kicking off. Nice distance. From the two-yard line. The offense is heading out onto the field for their first drive of the game. It on the ground picks up about seven. Get the ball. They come out in a dime package. Closing in, throws it, and he hits his target. Nice call going to the air, and that'll move the chain. John, I think this is a pretty interesting matchup. Uh, it could go right down to the wire, and as usual, it's probably the team that makes the fewest mistakes that will win. Well, this is a classic example of the very resistible force meeting the utterly movable object. Let's go, come on! Hand it off again. Loses one tackler. Can't wrap him up. Pick up of about eight. Melissa, is there an update? I talked to Coach Phillick just prior to the game. He told me they need to just get out there and execute their game plan. They know that if they can take care of the football and come up with a few big plays on defense, they'll put themselves in a good position to come away with the win. Al? Thanks, Melissa. Dropping back. Pressure with the throw. Off target, but he gets it. The Brady, too, was there to make the catch for the first down. He's glad he made that catch. I'm sure the quarterback will look his way again when he needs another first down. Pass play here on first down. Flings it to the outside. Thrown behind, but caught. He really ate up the coverage on that play, John. That receiver makes all of his receptions look easy. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. Only one man in the backfield. Receives the handoff. The delayed handoff goes for about a yard. Yeah. 
Baltimore comes out in their nickel package. Pressure coming with the pass. This pass is incomplete. The incomplete pass brings up fourth down. Kardaki will come into this game to punt. Here's the kick. He's waving for the fair catch. And this will be a touchdown. They're ready to call their first play of the game. The backs are lined up in an eye. Set. Under pressure. He throws it. Great throw. John, he's hurt. We'll get an update from Melissa as soon as the extent of the injury is known. the 49-yard line. Redmond could have knocked the wind out of the receiver with that throw. A receiver that can make big plays like that have to be fed the ball so they can stay in the game. So they have first and 10 here. Ball on the 49-yard line. Come on, partner. Set. Set. Got back. The hut. Get. The hut. Get. The hut. Four, maybe five yards on the counter. Cleveland comes out in their nickel pack. Gets the pass off right to him. They'll bring him down at the 30. So they're able to pick up another first down. And this offense is clicking. They're making the right calls at the right time. Right. The backs are lined up in an eye. Pressure with the pass. He hits his receiver. He had a quick release on that pass. And when you talk about precision passing, that's what you mean. Right. Two yards to go. Set. Man in motion. Get outside. Hut. 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 They give it to the halfback. Lewis picks up just enough to convert. First down coming up after that run. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Heat, the motion man. Going to the air on first down. Throws it, and he makes the grab. He was on the receiving end of that bullet. Soft hands like that are hard to find. This guy looks like he's a keeper. And this is the eighth play of this drive. Pressure coming, throwing. That one won't count since he was out of bounds. I'm not sure what happened there. That throw just got away from him a little bit. Hand it off to the back. Lewis couldn't get out of the backfield. That was just a defensive line getting lower than the offensive line. When your defensive guys up front can control the line of scrimmage, 
it makes it very difficult to move the ball on offense. At the end of the first quarter, it's not enough. Baltimore, zero. Cleveland, zero. The teams have switched sides and will start the second quarter. So this field goal try will be from 27 yards out. The kick is up. The attempt is good. Kickoff team lines up. Not a real deep kick. Should be returned. From the nine. Stiffer in there. After a three and out on their last drive, the offense comes back out onto the field. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 32. Bring the pay. Pass play here on first down. Under pressure. Steps up. Rolling. Incomplete pass. A jarring blow on that one. Yeah, jarred that ball right out of there. Give it all you got. Dropping back. Closing in. Fires it out to the right. The quarterback thought he had that one. You got to deliver the ball out there quickly, but it has to be catchable. You got to use some touch. The Browns line up in the shotgun. Man in motion. Pumps once. Gets the pass off. Reed makes the stop at the 41-yard line. Big-time play by Northcutt. And that's the type of thing that can happen when you get this guy the ball. He's going to move the ball, and he's going to move it with speed. It's first and 10. Ball on the 41-yard line. Drops back. Pressure. Throws it over the middle. This pass is incomplete. He can't complete that short pass, and it's second down. Seven defensive backs in on this one. Bust his grill, deep. Give it all you got, deep. Come on. Dropping back with the throw. He hits his receiver. Good read on that play. He saw them drop back in zone and took advantage. That's the kind of efficiency that the coach is looking for out of him. Take what the defense gives. Don't force it. Protect the football. Those kinds of things. Come out in a dime package. Pressure coming. Gets the pass off. Now this is one heck of a play. Look at it. They're in a hole here on third down. And they come through with this perfect play that gets them a first and keeps the drive going. First and 10. ten. Ball on the 23 yard line. Cowboy! Hey! Lost play to the left. Green. Couldn't find an opening and was brought down very quickly. Yeah, he was. This line has to do a better job of holding up at the point of attack. He has a fast first step. And he can explode through the hole. But he needs a line to create that little crease or cutback lane to break free. Under pressure. Throws it. Incomplete. Looked like it was going to be a reception, but he just couldn't hang on. You have to be able to make those catches. Gets the pass off, and the catch is made. Watch it here. This is a great call on third down to keep this drive alive. They were in a tough spot here, but this is a heck of a throw and catch. 
to pick up that first down. So it's first and goal. Hit him low. With the carry, fakes the handle. Steps up into the pocket with the pass. He came free on that play, but he couldn't make the catch. He did a nice job of getting in position and giving the quarterback a good target. He just couldn't get it under control. We'll see. Stick up. Come on, D up. Looking upfield. The running back gets about three. Third down now and goal to go. Ball on the six yard line. Looks to the end zone. Touchdown, Brown. And he's able to get open in the end zone. Great play. The defense just seemed to lose track of him down there. They have to do a better job keeping the play in front of him so that that kind of thing doesn't happen. They'll line up for the extra point. And it's up. And he picks on the extra point. Big time drive there with a touchdown to take the lead. That's a big drive that they really needed. The score really swings momentum over to their side, giving them confidence that they can move the ball against this defense. Now it's up to their defense to keep the pressure on. Dawson is back and ready to put this one in the air. Should be a return here. From the 10-yard line. On their last position, they came away with a field goal. Let's see what happens this time around. Only one man back. The 24 gain of a couple on that carry. The Ravens line up with two backs behind the quarterback. Number 39 couldn't even get out of the backfield. This defense is extremely active and effective up front. They do a good job of getting upfield quickly creating havoc in the backfield. Misdirection plays and draws can be a good way to use their speed and aggressiveness against them. Lewis in the backfield. Gets the pass off. This pass is incomplete. Little just made a great defensive play. He has to do a better job of looking off the coverage before he makes a throw like that. So three and out, and they'll line up to punt. Here's the punt. Fair catch called for. That's a good job of getting downfield by the cover team to force the fair catch. for a receiver and it's complete great throw to beat the zone i'll tell you the defense has to do a better job of coming up and clamping down on the receiver whenever he enters their zone i'm sure they'll be going to the air as long as they have the ball
Dropping back. With the throw. Pass falls incomplete. Third down upcoming after that incomplete pass. On a third and short situation like this, the defense has to be ready for anything. About two to go. Ball on their own 42. Couch sets up. Gets the call. Into the open. A very well-drawn-up play. And it was well executed. They hit their blocks in the back found the right hole to get down the field and pick up a first down. One thing they want to avoid is turning it over and setting up the other guys with a chance to get some points. Passing on first down. Looking downfield, guns it out to the right. Picked off! The defender makes a leaping interception. Wow, he just jumped right up there and picked that ball off. The offense gets ready to go following the interception. Man in motion. With the pass. And he's tackled at the 31. I like to hurry up here. It's a change of pace, and it's a way to get the defense uncomfortable. Going to the air on first down. Closing in. He's going for it all. Touchdown, Baltimore. The quarterback delivered the ball right on time for the touchdown. Yeah, that guy knew exactly how far he had to go to cross the goal line to get in there for the score. Stover comes in for the extra point. And it's on its way, and the extra point is good. Kickoff team lines up. Decent kick. We should have a return. From the five-yard line. An interception brought the last drive to an abrupt end. They'll do a better job, I think, of protecting the ball this time around. First and ten. First down. He surveys the field with the throw, and he'll take it out of bounds at the 47. That'll move the chains, John. Yeah, when you put together a great pass with a heck of a catch, that's exactly what you're going to get. Lose it, lose it. Driving back the pass on first down. Gets the pass off, and the catch is made. He put everything he had behind that throw. That's one way to make sure your receiver doesn't drop the ball. You throw it so hard that he has to catch it in self-defense. You just put it right on him. Get in there, Lon. Count sets up. North cut. Moves in motion. Drops back. Throwing with the catch. Cleveland calls a timeout. They have one timeout left. Even though they're in field goal range, they need to keep a fast pace if they hope to finish this drive in the end zone. Gets rid of it. Thrown behind, but caught. Second and two. Ball on the 24-yard line. Dropping back. Throws it. Comes up with it. This offense having no trouble moving the ball on this drive. Yeah, and this defense is having a lot of trouble stopping them. They can't seem to key on what they're doing and put an end to this drive. To the air on first down. Floats into the end zone. Touchdown, Browns. What a 
catch in the end zone. That's a guy you better keep an eye on down there in the red zone. He has a knack to find the ways to get open when there's a lot of traffic. Dawson comes in to attempt the point after. The kick is up, and the extra point is good. Well, John, these teams are very evenly matched. This makes for a better game, I think. The strategy of the game comes into play here more. The kickoff team lines up. Sends it sailing. From the nine-yard line. The Ravens will start the drive from the 25-yard line. They're trying to get in range for a last-second field goal attempt before halftime. Lewis is the deep back. Passing on first down. It's the pass off. Pass falls incomplete. Second down of coming after that incomplete pass. One thing you don't want to do when trying to get a late scoring drive is turn the ball over. They're already behind as it is, and they can't afford to be down anymore. So it's all about smart decisions by the offense. Redmond sends a man in motion. They got nothing. Get out of here. Here comes the blitz, and it's caught. Sanders is proving again why he's one of the quarterback's favorite targets. That's his fourth reception. So on their last drive of the first half, they face now a third and short. Hey, they can still call a run or a pass in this situation. So the defense can't just guess. Because if they guess run, well, they can get burned by the pass. If they guess pass, and they get burned by the run. Baltimore calls a timeout. They have one timeout remaining. This is where the defense needs to just play smart and not give up a big play. There's not a whole lot of time left, so they just need to prevent them from getting into field goal range. Pressure. That's a good play in the backfield by Roy. Redmond. He's getting up a little slowly. And the quarterback should have a talk with his offensive lineman after that hit. That is if he can still talk. Second down, and they need 15 for the first. Ball on their own 33. Drops back, pressure coming, throwing, and he makes the grab. He took what he was given, completing the pass. Yeah, what you want to do as a receiver who's facing zone coverage is to break into the secondary, find a hole, settle down, and show the quarterback your number. That was a good job. Under pressure, won't have to break stride. Cleveland will call a timeout here. That's their third and final timeout. The end of the second quarter with the score, Cleveland 14, Baltimore 10. Welcome back as we get the second half underway. Dawson in to kick this one off. Good distance. From the eight-yard line, he can't wrap them up. Breaks through. The Ravens will start the drive from the 27. They'll go from the I formation. Dropping back with the throw, and it's caught. He makes a terrific catch for the first down. Even the receiver was surprised how quickly that one got to him. That's the kind of thing you just hope you can hang on to as it goes by. So they have first and 10 here. Ball on their own 46. Here come the heat. 
Lewis, the deep back, dropping back to pass on first down. Goes again, gets rid of it, and he steps out of bounds at the 43-yard line. Look here, he does two things perfectly on this play. One, he watches the ball all the way into his hands to make the catch, and two, he shows great awareness and gets both feet down in bounds. Hey, that's a nice-looking play. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. Red gets set. A lot of room to work with. He takes that one and heads upfield to pick up the first down. You know what they did was pick up a blitz, and when they did that, it opened up a hole, and they ran right through it. First and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. Lewis, the lone setback. Jones, the motion man. Crosses it right. Lewis couldn't find any room on that one. They really hustle on the defensive side of the ball. They're very good at clogging up the line, limiting the number of holes and cutback lanes at the back as to choose from. They line up in the eye formation. Dropping back, receives the handoff. And the halfback picks up about three. They need seven. Ball on the 29-yard line. Redmond back in the shotgun. Hand off to the tailback. Into the open field. Picks up five. So they're lining up for the kick. This will be a 42-yard attempt. And it's on its way. And that kick is right on target. That kick is good, and it's his second field goal of the game. The Ravens find themselves right back in this one. Now it's up to the defense to hold them. And the kickoff team comes out onto the field. They'll return this one. From the four. Cleveland heads back out offensively, trying to add to their slim advantage. They line up in the I formation. Hook on right! The 30. So on the blitz, they can't get to the ball carrier until it's too late. And when you're blitzing to stop the run, the idea is bringing more guys and the offense can block. We also got to cut off the lanes and gaps that he can use to escape out of the backfield. That just didn't happen here. So they have first and 10 here. Ball on their own 34. Catch the ball, man. Pull back hand off. They're going to keep testing this rushing defense. The guy seems to get stronger every time he touches a ball. Looking to run it here. They'll go with a play fake. Throws it, drops the interception. I thought that was about to be picked off, John. Yeah, I think everyone else was thinking the same thing. We don't get a better chance on an interception than he had right there. About four to go. Ball on their own 40. They got nothing. Cowboy, get in there. Only one man in the backfield. 
pressure. Gets rid of it. This one falls incomplete. That incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. Cardano lines up in the backfield for the punt. Here's the kick. And he chooses not to return this one. Hey, no reason to take a chance and risk a fumble. Smart move there by the returner. Lewis lines up behind his fullback in the eye. Throws it. He only might have rushed that pass a little bit, but he's happy with the result. Yeah, I'd say. The defense was blitzing, so he knew that he had to get it out of there pretty quickly. And he did that connecting with his man for a pretty good pickup. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. The Ravens can regain the lead with a field goal. Gets the pass off, and it's complete. This appears to be of the five-yard variety. I'll tell you, these face masks are getting so big that you can start off going for a jersey and end up with a handful of face masks. So they have first and ten here. Ball on their own 45. Shaken up after that play, and we'll get you a report from the sideline when we get the information. The ball is right at midfield. Couldn't pick up any blocking on that play. The defense is always very aggressive when defending the run. They're extremely disciplined. They get off their blocks very quickly. Makes it tough to find openings when you're running the ball. The Ravens line up in the shotgun. Redmond sets up. Drops back with the throw. And he makes the grab. He was able to hit his target, picking up the first in the process. That's a case of your receiver knowing where the marker is and the quarterback delivering the pass quickly. They'll go for the I formation. Gets the pass off at the 30. And he's ridden out at the 11-yard line. Amazing play by Robinson. You're talking about making it look easy out there. He caught that, and he made it look very easy. So we've reached the end of the third quarter with the Browns ahead of the Ravens, 14-13. And we'll start the fourth quarter. The Ravens can regain the lead with a field goal. Aimed it off to the back. Running back picks up about four yards. So let's take a look at how this back compares to the opposition. It's second down and seven to go. The Ravens can regain the lead with a field goal. Rowan, touchdown, Baltimore. Great timing on that touchdown throw. And that's one of those passes we see a lot when the quarterback releases it, the receiver's not even looking. But then he looks up, and the ball's right there. Ooh. 
looking to take a seven point lead. They'll forego the extra point and try for the two. coming fires to the end zone it wasn't much use kicking the extra point but now they're left with only a five-point lead well this game clearly isn't over yet John that touchdown puts them ahead but only by a slim margin and there's plenty of time left coming into this one I thought it might go right down to the very end this is where you got to dig in on defense and put the thing away And the kickoff team comes out onto the field. Nice kick. Plenty of distance. From the two-yard line. And they're about ready to get this drive started after the last series ended with a punt. Only one man in the backfield. it off to the back a fresh set of downs after a nice pickup on the ground hey nice job up front holding their block and allowing him to get a good run for a first down first and ten ball on their own 34 let's go come on Bring the pain. passing on first down with the pass Perfect pass. Right and he stopped at the 41. The rush was on, but it's a nice game thanks to a nice throw. He read the blitz and he got rid of the ball very quickly. This is the kind of guy you love to have behind center. The kind of guy that won't get rattled when he feels a big rush coming. Bust his grill, Green, the deep back. Hands off to the tailback. The running back gets about three. it away with the throw patched made on the run slips the tackle John he's hurt we'll get an update from Melissa as soon as the extent of the injury is known so they have first and ten here It off to the fullback, and he's brought down at the 31. Number 80 was dragged down before he could get to the line of scrimmage. They have great size and quickness up front. That allows him to hold up against the run while also giving him the speed to rush the passer when they drop back to pass. Steps up into the pocket with the pass. This one falls incomplete. Ooh, what a huge hit to cause the incompletion. Uh, he saw the receiver hauling it in, and then boom, he pops him, and it ends up incomplete. Third and 10. Ball on the 31-yard line. The Browns using motion. Under pressure, uses the pump with the throw. Very lucky that was an interceptor. Yeah, he started thinking about how he was going to take it back the other way and make a big play for the defense. He just forgot to bring the ball with him. So this will be a 48-yard attempt from the 38-yard line. And it's up. And the kicker got all of that one. Here's the kickoff team. Should be a return here. From the seven. 
passing game is really working for them. We saw that on their last possession as they worked their way down the field for a touchdown. And let's see if they can do it again here. The backs are lined up in an eye. to go. Ball on their own 37. Redmond gets set. Hut, come on, partner. Hut, hut, hut. They give it to the halfback. He delivers the forearm. Lewis showed a great burst of speed after he took the handoff on that play. The line did a great job there of blocking the backside pursuit, which helped him get the first down. Quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. Set. Aimed it off to the back. Running back picks up about four yards. About six to go. Ball on their own 46. Two minutes to the final gun. Crosses it out to the right, hand it off. Lewis didn't have much to work with on that running play. That's because the defense did a good job anticipating the snap count. With an aggressive defense like this, a hard count could be an effective way to keep them off balance while trying to draw them off sides. Third and five coming up. Ball on their own 47. They've done very well on third down at this point. Cleveland will call a timeout here. They have one remaining. Number 39. Wasn't able to get anything going on that play. They got there and shut that play down very quickly. That's just a case of studying game film this week paying off. When you know what they like to run in certain situations, you can anticipate the play call and stop the play before it even gets started. And so the offense gets one more shot to see what they can do here with the time remaining. This punt will be his second of the day. Here's the punt. From the 21. The 40. Just a great punt return there, John. And then he just ran out of steam. But I'll tell you this, he gave him great field position. The Browns line up in the shotgun, throwing on first down. With the pass, incomplete. He just dropped that pass. He really should have had that one. He was in position to make the catch, but he forgot to catch the ball. The Browns line up in the shotgun. Couch gets set, drops back with the throw. Pass ball's incomplete. Baxter was in perfect position and knocked that pass away. That's just great positioning by the defender. He has his eyes in the backfield the whole time, and he was right there to break the play up. Big third down play coming up. The defense looking to make a big stop here and force them in to a critical fourth down situation. Gets rid of it. He finds his man. Good day for him through the air with that completion. He's now totaled more than 200 yards. They're going to go with a no huddle. The Ravens call a timeout. They have two left. So on first down, they're trying to get it in a little closer to give their kicker a better chance. And they really don't need to run hurry up. There's plenty of time left and they're in range. What they can't do is throw into double coverage or anything like that, which could end up in a turnover. It off. Baltimore calls a timeout. That's their second. The one thing the offense needs to focus on is positive yardage. 
Right now, they need to eat up the clock and keep the kicker within distance. I'll tell you, if they pass, they cannot take a sack. And this is the fifth play of this drive. Closing in with the pass. Pass was incomplete. The back was the target, but he couldn't bring it in for the catch. The back was a good receiver out of the backfield. Could really give you that extra dimension on offense. You have to find a way to try and catch it when your hands are on. The coach is telling his guys two things, and they don't have anything to do with getting a first. He's saying, don't lose yards, and whatever you do, don't turn the ball over. He gets the count. Baltimore calls a timeout. That's their last one. So we'll probably see the kicker come out for a field goal attempt. This is going to be about a 45-yard field goal attempt. And it's on its way. The kick sails through. It's good. Another one that goes through. His second of the day. Dawson is just about ready to kick this one away. Not a real deep kick. Should be returned. From the 15-yard line. It's loose. The Browns grab the live ball. So after the fumble now, it's first and ten. Second and long coming up here. The Ravens line up in the quarter defense. Catch the ball, man. Bring that plane, baby. Set. Go, go. Go, go. Go, go. Go, go. You got it. Go, go. Sideline, baby. Down you got it. That'll wrap this one up, and the final score is Cleveland 20, Baltimore 19. This concludes another EA Sports presentation. For John Madden and Melissa Stark, this is Al Michaels saying so long.